Greetings to all the viewers in the wonderful name of Jesus. My name is Sazikazi Mwekezi. I'm from the Eastern Cape in Umtata. Uh, the reason why I came is because I was having marital problems, um, financial problems, and also just problems uh, with uh, the health of my children. Um, when I came, I came, uh, of course, hopeful. And uh, I did believe that Jesus was going to save me and was going to save my family and save my marriage. Experiencing and, uh, um, mostly stagnation uh, in my career. And I was also experiencing a loss of affection uh, with my husband. Um, and just basically just distance between the two of us. Uh, yes, and uh, with the children, uh, one of my children was not well, but she's uh, better now. Uh, yes, that's why I came. The issues that I've raised, well, um, I would say that it's causing a lot of harm in my marriage because now things are starting to crumble. Uh, I no longer get along with my husband. Um, and there's a distance between the two of us, you know. We are no longer loving towards each, each other. We're always fighting. Um, and also, like, in terms of my career, I feel like I'm, like, it's not going forward. Uh, everything is just in the middle. It's in a gray area. Like, I feel like I'm not progressing. Um, and that's how it affects me. So today I got to meet uh, the servant of God. And this is what he said. He told me that uh, I have marital problems. There's no affection with my husband. And our house and our home is crumbling. Uh, and if we don't fix the marriage, then even uh, our plans for the future are not going to go well. Um, he also spoke about how there is like sort of like a, a curse of marriages, delayed marriages in our family. Uh, that my sisters are not married, and that even uh, my mother, she struggled uh, in the marriage. Uh, he also spoke about um, that we have uh, land, and we do have a um, couple of pieces of land that we're supposed to build on. And he said, he emphasized that if we do not sort out our marriage, then all of the plans, you know, to build and to develop this land you know, is not going to uh, materialize. He also spoke about um, my children. He said, I need to pray for my children, that uh, they are uh, going to be uh, attacks of illness on my children. And um, those were the prophecies um, that I, I got from the man of God. I feel a lot of relief uh, because I came here hopeful and I was hoping that, you know, I would, you know, eventually s like get like a real uh, vision of why, you know, um, it is happening. And of course, it is always the works of the devil, you know, and I feel really good now. I feel a whole lot lighter. You know, after he prayed for me, I, f I felt like there was just something that just, you know, I don't know, like just got lifted off my shoulder. So, yes, I'm very grateful. I would encourage them and say, you know what, they must not give up on God because we usually, um, when the, the problems, you know, have been going on for a long time, you tend to want to give up, but, you know, um, there's always hope. Usually we want to give give up at the midst of the breakthrough or at the, just at the doorstep of, you know, uh, things changing. So I would uh, tell people that they must continue trusting in Jesus and that Jesus is actually the ultimate healer, the ultimate deliverer, and the ultimate blesser. So I do trust that things are going to change in Jesus' name. Jesus' name! So your husband drinks alcohol only? Is he smoking? No, oh, it's not so okay. You only drink alcohol. Hmm? Yeah, because this is not good. Yeah. But God will 
бы стою. А сто Thank you. 